Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys can tell by the title of the video, we are doing another acne versus foundations, hence why I don't have anything on my face right now. We are reviewing Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue new foundation. Beforehand, you guys know I like to give you guys a bit of information on the foundation. I have my sheet that I write everything down in because I, you know, I just like to be prepared. So it is called Meet Your Hue. It retails for $36 and it comes in 42 shades, which is categorized in fair, light, light medium, medium tan, dark, and deep. Now the foundation claims to be a medium to full coverage with a natural matte finish. And here's the box, it looks like this. And on the side it has like the claims, which it says it's a high pigment foundation, natural matte finish, buildable, lightweight, long wear, it also has a pump, thank god. Vegan, cruelty free, talc free, paraben free, oil free, fragrance free, and the shelf life is 12 months. Now, the ingredients, thank god, they're on the back of the um, box. Now, um, it doesn't say that it's alcohol free, but it doesn't have it on the ingredients. I don't see anywhere that it has alcohol, so yeah. But I will list all of the ingredients in the description down below so you guys can see them. This is how the bottle looks. It has that matte finish. Be careful when you pick out foundations that have like this matte finish that look foggy. It can be deceiving, you know what I'm saying? I learned this from Auntie Jackie. Sometimes people People get their color based off of like looking at the bottle but I I wouldn't do that I would like try it out or something and that's how like I would find my match not by like the bottle so from the 42 foundations I got three of them I got the category light I got 115 116 and 120 also the bottle has 30 milligrams 1.0 fluid ounces that's standard for most foundation all right guys they also came out with a little sponge to go with the foundation this retails for $15 and it says it's paraben free latex free dye free sulfate free and I have no idea how to say the last one. You guys already know I'll put it up here. But she's cute. So now that we have all that information, let's get into the review. So since it is like a matte foundation, that's what it claims. It's a natural matte. I'm going to use the Derma Blend Hydro, what is this, Instant Grip Jelly Primer to prime my face with. Again, I don't want to take the Milk Hydro Primer just because I feel like, I don't know, it's just... I just I actually don't know why I'm not gonna take it. But I'm not gonna take it. I've been really liking um the Derma Blend one because it, it's very, very, very tacky. And it even though I have really giant, giant ass pores, and it's kind of impossible for primers to like fill in those giant ass pores. I feel like this one actually does like a pretty decent job at filling them. So I'm going to use this primer. Now I did put up swatches of the three foundations that I have. I actually matched myself to 116. So this is the foundation that I'm going to use. And I'm gonna take a full pump. Oh, that's a lot. This should probably do it. So the foundation, how it feels in the back of my hand. It feels, she feels a little thick, um, not too thick. But she feels really, really nice. So I'm just going to start off by dotting it all over my face. kind of feels like a gel consistency. I feel like all liquid foundations kind of feel like a gel consistency. Some of them are very, very liquidy though. This one doesn't give me that feel. It does give, it does feel a little thick, um, though. I don't know why I'm using the word thick, um. So I didn't even pick up all of it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take what i have right now and i'm gonna start blending this out oh the sponge is nice I like it okay okay this is nice this is nice I'm blending it on this side as well oh this is really nice and i think i got the color right i tried to match myself to my neck um because my face is lighter than my body so i always try to match myself to my neck also my lighting can just be so annoying and deceiving sometimes so i apologize for that just, just continue to watch my video so I can buy some, you know what I'm saying? My nose area is where I always get so red. I'm gonna actually pick up a little bit more. You know, it's crazy because it feels thick when you like pick it up with your hands, but it's not feeling thick or heavy on my skin, which is really good. And it says it's a natural matte finish, and I definitely can see that because it doesn't look so mattifying. If you guys can see, it kind of looks like it's it's radiant, radiating, radiating. Oh my god. It doesn't look like it's so so matte. I picked up the rest of what was in the back of my hand and I'm just using that to put it all over my face because we do not 
waist product here okay wow that really covered all of my redness i really like this i don't think i need another coat so i'm just gonna stick to one pump one pump really did the job and this is how the foundation looks oh my god it looks really really good i really like it it's it feels still a little wet hopefully it dries down i'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then i'll come back okay you guys i forgot to mention what my skin type is it is acne prone i think it's dry some people like to debate with me about that but like i know my skin and she's a little dry so it's acne prone and dry so i am finished with my whole entire face i did not set any of these areas just my under eye right here and like my chin area like basically my t-zone but everything else i didn't set or around my forehead so you guys can see how the foundation works throughout the day it is currently 107 right now i started a little late um but i will keep updating you guys with my iphone so you guys can get a close-up of my face and stuff it's so far so good i really like it it feels really nice on my skin it doesn't feel heavy um and it's laying really really nice again it's a natural matte it's not really fully matte so i like how it's making my skin not look like the sahara desert because it gets crazy yeah it's 107 and um i'll see you guys throughout the video okay guys so it's currently three o'clock no Four? I don't know it's been three hours since I've been wearing the foundation and this is how my skin is looking I think it looks really really nice um, it is kind of breaking up around my mouth area but I've been talking a lot and I always feel like it breaks up around my mouth area anyways but if you guys see the sides of my face it looks really really good and the match is really really nice it matches my neck I think so let me know what you think but I think it looks really really nice I'm not that oily which is really good again it is a natural matte foundation okay so I will update you guys in a few more hours I forgot to freaking put on lip gloss I'm so sorry excuse my crusty uh, lips I just ate um it is currently six o'clock right now um it's been two hours since my last checkup i wanted to come back and show you guys how my skin is looking during golden hour um it's i'm a little oily uh but i think like for how long i've had it it's it's holding up pretty dang well um on my lips it is breaking up though a lot um but i just ate and i've been talking a lot um, and usually that area tends to break up a lot but my forehead looks really good I'm a little oily on my nose my cheek areas look so good I really like how the foundation is sitting on those areas of my face so yeah I will come back in a few more hours for my last checkup alright you guys so this is my last update um, it is currently about to be 9 it's like 850 something right now but this is my last update and this is how the foundation looks right now so around my mouth area it has definitely like broken up kind of right here um but on my cheek areas it still looks really really nice i am kind of oily in this section of my face but i tend to get oily there anyways but other than that i really like how this foundation um kind of like held up throughout the day um so yeah my only complaint is again it's just this area just tends to just break up all the time so um i'm gonna switch to my canon camera and i will give you guys my final thoughts okay guys so for my final thoughts on this foundation now throughout the day i usually make notes about the things that i like and i don't like today i didn't just because i actually don't have anything that i dislike about the foundation i will say one thing the smell on it even though it says it has no fragrance it kind of it, it definitely gives you like a foundation smell i mean it's it smells like a product like you know what i'm saying like when you if you buy this you'll smell it it's not like a strong strong smell a little bit like paint not that much but like like just a little bit so that's the only thing that I was like mm, but it's not like I can smell it throughout the whole day or I, I immediately get like a whiff like for example like the Kat Von D foundation that foundation smells like straight up paint I'm so sorry but like that foundation I don't know what they were thinking or what they were doing when they made it but that one straight up smells like paint this one it kind of just has like a, like a whiff of it you know what I'm saying that's the only thing that again I would say is kind of just like eh but honestly the way it sits on my face on my act 
acne prone like acne prone skin I feel like it looks pretty nice again um, if you watch my videos I always say that foundation for my skin type will always tend to emphasize my texture because I have acne scars I have textured I have little pimples or it's always gonna emphasize my texture but I really liked how this foundation laid on my cheeks it looks so so beautiful it got oily throughout the day but not as oily as some other foundations that I have worn I definitely feel like like it's true what it says it is a natural matte finish and I like how even though it was a matte foundation it wasn't so so drying and when you guys saw when I put it on you guys can see like how radiant it looked on my face it didn't look like the damn Sahara Desert so I really really like that as far as my match I think I did a pretty good job at matching myself I always have a hard time with it because my neck tends to be it's, it's like I'm more yellow and stuff and then my face is way more like white like pale so I think I did a pretty decent job at um shading myself so i would definitely rate the foundation a 10 out of 10 i think this is gonna be my go-to i know i just reviewed the anastasia one and i really liked it but this one i just it's like a good mix of like not being so mattifying but not being so dewy either like i just i don't know it's just really really good but yeah i really like this and now as far as the sponge i mean honestly 15 dollars is a bit pricey i'm a cheapo depot i like using the make the make forever with the, the make Makeup Shack sponge which is only four dollars and it is so so good so I don't know if you have the coins you could spend your money on it but I, I don't think I would buy it just because I mean I could get the same results with this one um it really is good though it's not like one of those like hard ass beauty sponges it's very soft and they got the job done and I really do like it I just wouldn't like purchase it again you know what I'm saying because I'm cheap okay guys I don't think I have anything else to say um I really hope that you guys guys enjoyed this video i will put all of the um information up on this foundation and the beauty sponge in the description down below as well as the ingredients to go with it and this foundation is already out so you can go and purchase it so yeah you guys uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys